should wrap the disinfectant. Don't want to use these sinks after the skank patrol. <laughs> One of her two friends is now ditching because she'd rather have the approval of some hateful bitches she doesn't even like. Just stop following me, okay? I think this is less of a problem with the internet and more of a problem with everyone just being really dumb. Don't get me wrong, bullying's a serious problem, but this movie's pretending as if it's the internet's fault and not some dumb high school kids. It's not that people actually grow up after high school, it's that you don't have to be around those people anymore. Then you just have to deal with workplace drama. Real websites already have regulations for these sorts of things. You can report people on Facebook, YouTube has anti-hate speech, but no one's forcing you to go on these websites anyway. You could probably make a huge ED page out of all the shit I've posted on the internet, but I think you're allowed to make fun of me as much as you want. It's free speech. It's like if we had a law against drawing Muhammad. If you stole my credit card info, there are already real laws against that. You don't need extra ones. Well, the whole world done fucked up and didn't raise the kids for them properly, so now they gotta get up off their asses and be parents, and oh, they don't like that, do they? So Abra fucking Kadabra, now we have cyber bullying laws. I'm not making this shit up, it's happening right now. You can actually wind up in a jail cell with people who inject smack into their eyeballs and drag Chinese people from the back of pickup trucks just for typing something that made someone go, oh, wow. Maybe some of you people still think I'm being a bit insensitive, but how many of you didn't post a negative comment on Rebecca Black's Friday video? That was like cyberbullying gang rape. She's even recorded new material and you still hate it. Sounds like anything else on the top 40, but I don't see Katy Perry with that many negative votes or anything else that's that bad. She's cool to hate, like Justin Bieber and Twilight and Transformers. These things all suck, but if you ask the majority of people why they suck, they won't really know why. They just know that they're supposed to hate it. Should we have laws against every rumor spread about Justin Bieber? He's a person too. You know what? Rebecca Black doesn't seem so bad after all. Where was I again? Oh yeah, this movie's retarded. Well, why can't you just not flirt with people that you don't know? <laughs> you didn't have to talk to that James guy. See, is he called this as my fault? Well, you called Lindsay a bitch online. Of course she was gonna come after you. She starts bathing in her own drama and I can't help but notice those X's next to each comment. What are they for? Show me your Clickster's page now. <laughs> oh look, Mom, you comment. I'm so popular. Now this one's from Lindsay Love. She's my favorite. Yeah, she says that James told her I took all my clothes off for five bucks. Dun, dun, dun. She calls up her dad and leaves a message. Turns out she stops hating him as soon as she needs him for something. And then the mom goes to the school and they're like, sorry, we can't do shit about it because the internet's not censored. Somebody get the mods. Maybe we should forget school today. Y you want to ditch? I'll, I'll ditch with you. No, I want to talk to Scott. Of course. Look, you should just get Scott to give you a ride home too because I'm done trying to be your friend. Have a nice life, Taylor. You're not gonna skip school with me? Well, fuck you, I'm not your friend. Yeah, no, I haven't talked to you in a while. Um, I was just wondering if we were still going to the dance tonight. Listen, Taylor, my mom pissed me off last night and said I have to go with Marty Fox. Her mom's best friends with my mom, and yeah. So you're taking Marty? I'm sorry, it's not exactly my choice, but I don't know what else to do. You're at least in your 20s and your mom's deciding who you're gonna take to the dance? What the fuck? She goes home and watches the video that throws her over the edge. I am Taylor Hillridge. Wanna have a good time? How about I pay you to show me a good time? Ugh, gross. I act like I'm the most holy and pure thing at school, but I'm really the dirtiest little whore. Stop it right fucking there. Does anybody recognize that song? It's called Breathe Me by Sia, and it is the most overused song ever. It was used appropriately in the series finale of Six Feet Under, and after that point, it just got raped. And by after that point, I mean after the point I used it in some shitty video I made when I was 15. If you've had a Coke in the last 80 years, you've had a hand in making every Olympic dream come true. As soon as you get out, I'll be right here. a peaceful warrior. Help our kids become something better. Coles, proudly Australian since 1914. Help. Baby. 
baby. I have done it again. Ich habe mich in dich verliebt. You're a little fucking late. The song used to be good, but using it is just a joke now. It's almost as much of a death sentence as using Hide and Seek by Imogen Heap. <laughs> Dear sister, by the time you read this, you much say. Oh, that you only meant what you say. Oh, you much say. You much say. You much say. You much say. Oh, you much say. 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 2011 and you're still gonna use this fucking song anyway. She posts a video saying she's gonna kill herself and she uploads it and she just doesn't do anything for a long time. Looks like she's masturbating. This is Chris, it's Samantha. I think something's wrong with Taylor. She posted a video online and now she's not answering the phone and I'm really freaking out. Uh, Samantha, slow down, I can't understand you. I think she's trying to kill herself. Didn't seem like she was talking all that fast, but okay. Where's Taylor? How should I know, I'm grounded. Suicide. It's a childproof lock. It's easy. She fucked it up and they took her to the hospital anyway. James's profile, it was here yesterday and now it's. Deleted. Her mom tries to solve this mystery. If my daughter expressed her opinion about anything... Demeaning, insulting opinions. That's her right. At least according to the Constitution. Damn you, evil First Amendment. Are you really gonna do it? So you actually tried. Wow. Meanwhile, this emotional wreck decides to get some counseling with a cyberbullying support group for other people that couldn't get the cap off. Never called someone a name online or said they were... Stupid or ugly? I called Lindsay Fortis a bitch. Okay, so we're all guilty of it. We're all criminals. And this bitch goes on an ego trip. I'm Taylor's best friend. So you're gonna blame me because she had some sort of mondo meltdown? Like you even care about her. I was just, you know, the main cause of all of this. She starts to feel guilty about it and fesses up. I'm the one who created the James profile. Told everybody you gave him an STD. And then everyone starts bullying her. Problem solved. You see something negative about you? Print it out. Save the evidence. What else? You block them. You know, block the sender. You know, for the name, you don't want to see what crap they're saying about you. Took me for damn ever to figure that out. God, I never thought of that. I do. Couldn't you introduce a bill? I, I don't want to try to legislate the internet. Excuse me? Well, they do have delete buttons on computers. I thought that too until I almost lost my daughter. Then I realized they don't actually have delete buttons. No, it was not because I know, of you. I know. Even my mom was like, dude, check your ego. Such a mama's boy, this one. They decide to take this matter to the press to push their agenda. Kids are getting hurt and adults can't see it because it's happening online. Wait, your mom said earlier that she could see it online. He says he'll do the story if he can get an interview with that crazy troll bitch. Your mother says Samantha agreed to do it. They'll be here in half an hour. Holy shit, that was fast. She tells the story of how she pretended to be someone else on an anonymous website. And I've never been more sorry in my entire life. Well, why do it then? For the lulls? Y you can't see the other people and, and you can do or say anything and it, it doesn't seem to matter. It doesn't feel real. The internet is dangerous, like a drug. Lindsay and them, they're after you know, I didn't know that. Doesn't matter. I deserve it. 
No, you don't. Yes, you do. All this group has been saying is how I can't let them have power over me anymore, so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, so you can solve your problems without putting people in jail. Hey, Lindsay. Yeah, I know you think you're probably being funny, but you should know your words actually hurt. And I Check think you should stop attacking people online. <laughs> Rare. Get her, Linz. No, she's right. You guys should stop. You're making everyone around you miserable. Oh, the twins are sticking up for each other. How cute. Yeah, because that's what friends do. Why don't you just stop attacking people on Clicksters? Okay, you're making it so no one wants to go on there anymore. Yeah, you seem to me just like any other bully. Spreading hate wherever you go. I gotta say, the way that you guys need to hurt people, it's like maybe you need to talk to someone. Get some help. Yay, everyone in the cafeteria could hear that conversation. It's safe now. It's a happy ending, and the moral of the story is that you should legislate the internet, when the moral should be that high school doesn't matter. Once you're out, you won't have to deal with these dumb bitches. Educate yourself about the internet. A lot of people are able to use it without killing themselves. Sometimes the best solution is the most obvious. So what should you do if someone trolls you? Yeah, yeah. here's what the experts say. Don't do anything. Really? Play possum. Yeah. yeah, they say resist that urge to engage or respond. That's just what the trolls want. If you say nothing, chances are they'll move on to someone else. If you keep feeding the trolls, you might just turn into a meme. Okay, you guys, this is Jesse Slater. You know I just what? Wanted to say that you guys have ruined my life. First I'm gonna first, tell you right like now. That. Hi, Billy Mays here. The fastest, easiest, safest way to chop, mince, or dice any vegetable guaranteed here's how it works just place the vegetable on the board give it a tap and you've got finely shredded cabbage in seconds for crunchy coleslaw if you like salads put all your ingredients in at the same time